Okay, a 2000 tons uh, solenoid of length 40 cm and resistance 16 ohm is uh, connected to a 20 volt supply. Find the magnetic flux density at the uh, midpoint of the axis of the solenoid. Okay, I think this equation is almost the same as a uh, previous as previous video. Um, okay, uh, this one. See that? Ah, uh, yeah. Also the same question, but the difference is this question. He say magnetic flux density at the end of the solenoid. Yeah, at the end of solenoid, use formula half mu naught and i. Yeah, half mu naught and i. But uh, for this example. Uh, this one asks about magnetic flux density at the midpoint uh, of the axis of solenoid. So for the midpoint, uh, midpoint use mu naught and i. Yeah, it doesn't have half. Uh, previous one is at the end, so it's the formula is half mu naught and i. But this one at the middle, the magnetic field at the middle is mu naught and i only. Yeah, no half. Okay. Uh, so just want to highlight this. Okay, magnetic flux density at the midpoint. Okay, midpoint. Uh, so 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 the formula for magnetic field. Okay, for question A, magnetic field for the midpoint is uh, mu naught and i. Yeah, for solenoid. Uh, for solenoid. Yeah, this one solenoid. At the middle, at the center is mu naught and i. For the end is half mu naught and i. Yeah, remember that. Yeah, at the center means over here. At the end is over here lah. Yeah, at the cent at the midpoint, at the end, uh, it has two ends. Yeah, two ends also half mu naught and i. At the middle is only mu naught and i. Okay, so uh, magnetic flux density. Magnetic flux density has uh, many names. Uh, again, I just want to emphasize that Med magnetic flux density is B. Yeah, is B. Yeah, it can also be called magnetic field, magnetic field strength. Uh, or magnetic field intensity, uh, or magnetic uh, magnetic flux density, or magnetic flux intensity, yeah, whatever. So it's all the same lah, yeah. Uh, all the same thing. Uh, refer to B. Okay. So uh, all right. So again, uh, I'm going to solve these questions. It has um the okay about the n over here. N it, here is number of turns per unit length. Yeah. Is tot number of total turns divided by total length. Uh, total turns divided by total length. Yeah. Uh, total turns divided by total length. Uh, that is the small n. So here already give you the you know give you the total turns and total length, resistance, voltage. So I think you can find all the values needed. Uh, first of all, you can find the number of turns. Uh, this one you substitute over here. Uh, mu naught and i over l yeah that's for uh that's the formula so uh i, I don't have the current i think i can find I, I have the resistance and voltage i can use the formula uh, v equal to ir to find the current yeah current is a uh, voltage over resistance so uh voltage 20 volt divided by resistance 16 ohm uh okay so i got 20 divided by 16, uh, it is um, uh, 1.25 ampere. Okay, I got the current already. Uh, and then uh, mu naught, mu naught is, uh, you know, mu naught is the list of, you can find the list of constant. Mu naught is called permeability of constant. There are, there are two, uh, there are mu naught and epsilon naught. Uh, this mu naught is for magnetic field. Epsilon naught is for electric field. Yeah, electric field. The magnetic field one is permeability. The electric field one is permittivity. Uh, permittivity. So that's the difference. Okay. Magnetic field we use permeability. So it's four pi exponent negative seven. Huh? You can find this value in the list of constant. So alright. So four pi exponent negative seven. Okay. The value. Now, total turns is 2000 turns and then current is 1.25 ampere i got it just now uh, over the total length which is uh, 40 centimeter so you have to change to meter this one yeah si unit so divide by 100 uh, not divide by 1000 divide by 100 you get 0 0.4 meter all right divide by 100 okay let's calculate 
let's calculate the value. Uh, okay, calculate times 2000 times 1.25 divided by 0.4. Okay, I got the answer is uh, 7.8. 85 uh, 7.85 exponent exponent negative 3 uh, exponent negative 3 the unit of magnetic field is Tesla okay magnetic field is Tesla okay that's the answer okay it's double than the magnetic field at the end end of solenoid is double all right yeah is it double yeah refer to previous example this is 7.85 last time the example is uh, 3.93 uh, 3.93 this one is uh, 7.85 so it's double uh, it's double yeah so the answer is correct okay referring to the answer okay magnetic field is uh, Tesla now okay looking at question B question B yeah now we do question B uh, also about solenoid this one is also about last time is solenoid this time also solenoid uh, I give you the magnetic field in the inside of solenoid yeah inside uh, inside that means this one is uh, at the middle lah, at the center yeah? at the middle or core at the center uh, yeah magnetic field at the center of solenoid yeah so the formula is this one mu naught and I yeah uh, okay, I'll write down the formula first because it said inside. Yeah, the word inside the solenoid means middle. So magnetic field formula is uh, still the the same formula mu naught and i. Yeah, mu naught and i. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the n is n over l, so you can sub can substitute n over l. Okay. All right. So he here he give you the what. It give you the uh, the length. Yeah, this is the length. This is the current. Uh, what else? Uh, give you the magnetic field at the center. This is the magnetic field inside the solenoid. And number of turns. Uh, you want to find the number of turns and so how? So I want to find the big N. So just substitute the value. I think you can get the answer. Uh, okay. So magnetic field at the middle is twenty three millitesla. So you change to SI unit, milli is exponent negative 3. Okay, milli, milli change to SI unit, eh? milli Tesla change to Tesla. Okay, so mu naught again is 4 pi exponent negative 7. Alright, and then total turns I want to find. The current is 8 ampere, so the total length is 1.3 meter. Okay, so there's a total length. So I can find my total turns, yeah. Total turns easily can be found. Twenty three exponent negative three, uh, divided by uh four pi, uh exponent, uh, negative seven. Okay, uh, and then um, divide with this eight and multiply by one point three. Okay, so I got the total turns two nine seven uh seven four point two one. Okay, ah, uh, but you see this one is um um the number of turns, yeah, number of turns. So you shouldn't have any decimal place, yeah. You shouldn't have any decimal place because it's not talking about turns, yeah. So you need to round it up. You need to round it up becomes uh two nine seven four turns two nine seven four turns you cannot uh you must round it up yeah because uh number of turns you cannot have uh zero point two one turns you must have a, a round up number okay so that's all for these questions all right um okay that's the answer two nine seven four turns that's correct okay Okay, so that's all for these questions. Bye.